Hey everybody. Right. Uh, I've let <coughs> these shells dry for a bit. Uh, oh. So I'm just going to get ready to uh, apply the varnish to the underside of the shell. So for what would be the final coat underneath. Uh, on that side uh, so where we're up to at the moment is the top of the shelves need one more the underside of the shelves need one more and the lighter side of the sides need one more so what I think I'm going to try and do here is oh shit my nose is bad um get the underside of these three shelves done and once they're done I can do the lighter side of the sides because then that will be the last bit of those they can all dry for a bit and then we're on to uh, the top of the shelves which would be the last bit to try and sort of get these done, grab a bite to eat, have a nap, and then I can chill out this evening. Oh, So like I said, hopefully this will be the, the final coat on the uh, the undersides. And I've been happy with how they've been looking. I mean these have dried a bit now as well I have mentioned about how the previous coat uh, even though it dried a bit shiny it was still a little bit of a dull shine it's a lot less of that now uh, so hopefully uh, the one more coat on there will really be the one that finishes it off nicely. with how that's looking Ugh.
I've just seen some exercise on the side there. I don't know how I managed to miss that. Just check this and make sure I've not left any on there. Oh, God. Okay, so. I'm quite happy with how that side's looking. So I'm going to go for the one more coat on here, which will be the final one for these. So this should hopefully give us a slightly better indication of how these are going to end up looking. But then saying that, this is one of the pieces that I've been struggling with the grooves. Yeah, so as nice as that is, well, actually, it's actually pretty good. Maybe it's just the position I'm sitting with the line. It's making it look a little perhaps duller and grayer than it really is. I mean, that one's definitely been the more problematic of them all. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do now is leave these for a while, 20 minutes, so they can dry up. These two are now done, um, as much as I'm going to do them, and colour-wise, as I mentioned, that's the darker veneer, that's the lighter veneer, so colour-wise is very close. I'm not going to try and colour match it. Um, because I haven't got the patience, that's not how it was, um, so yeah, and I haven't got that much varnish. Um, so yeah, so can you give these about 20 minutes, um, and then, like I say, those two are done, they can be moved out of the way, and then we're just down to putting the final coat of varnish on the top of the three shelves. I won't do that as a, uh, separate video I'll do as a continuation of this one and um, because once that's done with them finished the next video after that would be polish it up and then put it back together hopefully so we'll be back in a few moments okay time to kick on with the final cut so here we go um, so yeah, so once I've applied this, I am, that's basically going to be me done for today. Um, we can let it dry and I mean, what I'll do is I'll check them 
tomorrow. Because um, normally, obviously, we would sand before the final coat. Well, we sanded two ago. Um, but I'm going to leave it to dry uh, overnight or tomorrow. And then when I come and have a look at it tomorrow, if I feel that it needs another coat, then I'll give it a light sanding and another coat. But at the moment, I wouldn't say that I feel that it needs another coat. Uh, but we'll see what happens once it's oh, had some time to, to dry up. Definitely not going to be doing any more tonight. I'm absolutely starving now. The oven's on for the pizza. So, as soon as I've finished this, I'm going to go and get that cooked and eaten. Oh, excuse me. So, I'll get you sort of that over there. A nice soft bit on my pad, but kind of running out of them. to the final piece. Oh. Oh. Not too much. I mean, hopefully over the next day or so. Well, I mean, I'm saying the next day or so. I mean, hopefully it'll be tomorrow. Uh, but if it does need another coat and I have to do it, then it's going to take, it may be a couple of days before I'm done. Um, but, um, so what I was going to be saying is, that hopefully within the next couple of days get this built and finished I'll be glad when it's done because it's been waiting a while but also in comparison to pretty much all of my other projects I think this has been one of the quicker ones in the end. I mean, it took a while with the chemicals at the beginning, but then I mean, okay, we're not done yet. But we are now, for the moment, done with applying a finish. Oh. So. 
Yeah, that is us done with applying. Um, uh, and varnish. Uh, and I've got to say, I'm very pleased with how it's looking. Um, I mean, it's not a sort of super expensive vintage um, piece of furniture, but it is a nice piece of furniture that now is looking better than it did before I started which is part of my mantra um, so yeah I've got to say I'm, I'm very pleased I mean I, I should have stopped hours ago and just got myself some food but I wanted to get to this point um, so I am going to go and feed go and drink, go and sleep and then hopefully tomorrow once these have had a chance to really dry uh, including these, I'll pop these up here as well um, yeah so once these have had a good 24 hours to dry we can check them tomorrow and hopefully they will be ready to just be polished and put back together um, I made that sound really simple. Um, it probably won't be, um, but yeah, we can hope. Um, but yeah, it's been a very productive day. Um, and I am very pleased with how I've got on today. So I'm going to finish there, and I'm going to go and feed my face full of pizza. See you in a bit.